Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. The People's Liberation Army of China operates a variety of aircraft and helicopters for diverse military roles, including transport, reconnaissance, combat, and surveillance. Some key examples include the J-10 and J-20 fighter jets, Y-20 transport aircraft, Z-10 attack helicopters, and Z-20 utility helicopters. These assets bolster China's military capabilities and provide flexibility in various operational scenarios. And today, we want to show you the 10 best aircraft and helicopters of the Chinese Army. J-20 First photos of the Chinese J-20 stealthy fighter aircraft appeared in 2010. It was designed to compete against fifth-generation fighters such as a US F-22 Raptor and advanced fourth-generation fighters such as Russia Su-57. The J-20 fighter was officially adopted by the Chinese Air Force in 2017. The new J-20 has a canard delta configuration, blended fuselage with low radar cross-section, and large canted twin tails. This Chinese fighter has two large internal weapon bays for long-range air-to-air missiles and two small side bays for short-range air-to-air missiles. Missiles are stored in these weapon bays in order to reduce the radar cross-section. The J-20 might use some of the technology from the destroyed US F-117 Nighthawk stealthy ground attack aircraft, which was shot down in Serbia in 1999. Parts of the wreckage made their way to China and were locally examined. In March 2022, Chinese state broadcaster CCTV reported that the new WS-15 engine had completed testing and would be ready to move into a new phase to replace J-20s in service that still had Russian engines. The new WS-15 is expected to have much greater fuel efficiency and power, providing the J-20 with a greater endurance and flight performance. J-10 the J-10 multi-role fighter is the first Chinese-developed combat aircraft that approaches Western fighters in terms of performance and capabilities. It is known as Meng Long or Vigorous Dragon in China and as Firebrand in the West. Development of the J-10 began in 1988. It was intended to counter threats posed by the Soviet fourth-generation fighters, the MiG-29 and Su-27. Even though the J-10 is a rather advanced warplane, it cannot match performance of similar Western multi-role fighters such as a US F-16 and Eurofighter Typhoon. The J-10 has beyond visual range air combat and surface attack capabilities. The aircraft has 11 external hardpoints for a range of weapons. Alternatively, it can carry target acquisition, navigation pods, or auxiliary fuel tanks. The main armament on the air superiority missions are the PL-12 medium-range active radar homing air-to-air -air missiles. For close ranges, it carries the PL-8 infrared homing missiles. For surface attack role, the J-10 carries up to six 500-kilogram laser-guided bombs, pre-fall bombs, or pods with 90-millimeter unguided rocket. J-31 the new Chinese J-31 stealthy aircraft was developed by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. It is also referred to as FC-31. Development of this aircraft began around 2008. Some sources report that in 2007, China managed to obtain blueprints and other classified information on the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter and F-22 Raptor stealthy fighters, as well as systems used on these aircraft. This data was used to create the indigenous J-31 which takes clear design cues of the F-35 and has some of its features. The J-31 made its maiden flight in 2012. A significantly improved prototype was observed in 2017. In the West, it is considered as a fifth-generation multi-purpose medium fighter. However, China considers it as a fourth-generation warplane. Currently, only little is known about this new Chinese aircraft. The J-31 can carry up to 17,600 pounds, 8 tons, of weapons. It has two internal weapon bays. Each of the bays can store two missiles. Also, there are three hard points on each wing for externally mounted missiles. It is speculated that the J-31 might be also used as a carrier-borne multi-role fighter and operate from the new Chinese aircraft carriers. J-16 the J-16 is a Chinese twin-engine tandem-seat all-weather multi-role strike fighter. 
It evolved from the J-11 air superiority fighter. It is a more advanced version with an added ground attack capability. It is broadly similar in terms of capabilities to the American F-15E. This aircraft has been in service with the People's Liberation Army Air Force since 2013. Although the J-20 is China's more advanced fighter jet, the PLA Air Force still needs the J-16 as the two types of fighter jets can complement each other. The J-20 can use its stealth capability to destroy hostile anti-air installations and win aerial superiority first, but it cannot carry as many weapons as the J-16 because the J-20 hides its weapons in smaller weapon bays to ensure stealth capability. The J-16 is armed with a built-in 30mm GSH-31 cannon with 150 rounds of ammunition. It has 12 underwing hardpoints and can carry up to 17,600 pounds 8, kilograms of ordnance, including air-to-air -air missiles, anti-ship and anti-radiation missiles, cruise missiles, freefall, satellite-guided and laser-guided bombs and rockets. H-6K The Xiang H-6K is an updated version of the H-6 medium-range bomber. It made its first flight in 2007 and entered service in 2009. Other sources report that this bomber entered service in 2013. The new Chinese bomber has got new engines and carries more fuel for longer range. The H-6K has a greater maximum takeoff weight and payload than the previous version of the H-6. The H-6K is designed for long-range attacks and standoff attacks. It is considered a strategic bomber. It is capable of attacking U.S. carrier battle groups and priority targets in Asia. This aircraft has nuclear strike capability. This bomber carries air launcher cruise missiles under its wings. There are six hardpoints for the missiles. The H-6K can carry CJ-10A cruise missiles with conventional or nuclear warheads. It can also carry YL-12 anti-ship missiles. Long-range cruise missiles effectively extend the bomber's range to about 4,000 to 5,000 kilometers. It is enough to reach Japan, Malaysia, Philippines, Vietnam, Guam, Hawaii, Alaska, and Moscow from China's mainland without leaving air defense zone. Y-20 The Y-20 is a new Chinese transport aircraft. It is also referred to as Kung Peng, a legendary bird from Chinese mythology. This aircraft was developed by Xiang Aircraft Corporation. The Y-20 made its first flight in 2013. The Y-20 has a payload capacity of around 132,200 to 143,300 pounds, 60 to 66 tons. It can carry most large combat and support vehicles, including the Type 99 series main battle tanks. Alternatively to cargo and vehicles, the Y-20 can accommodate around 300 troops, 200 leaders, or around 110 paratroopers. The Y-20 has sufficient range to reach most of Europe, Africa, Australia, and Alaska. It can even be seen as a strategic airlifter. Previously, China lacked such heavy military transport capability. The Y-20 has many features of the Ukrainian AN-70 military transport. Also, it shows some influence of the Boeing C-17 in the tail section and cargo compartment. Composite materials are widely used in the airframe to keep the weight low. Z-10 The Z-10 is the new Chinese attack helicopter. Its development began in the mid-1990s. It has been designed with extensive technical assistance from Eurocopter and Augusta. The Z-10 is the first dedicated modern Chinese attack helicopter. It is believed that it is in the same class as the AH-2 Rui Volk and the A-129 Mangusta. However, it is not as capable as the AH-64 Apache. Primary mission of the Z-10 is anti-armor and battlefield interdiction. It also has some limited air-to-air -air combat capabilities. The Z-10 helicopter has a standard gunship configuration with a narrow fuselage and stepped tandem cockpits. Gunner is seated in the front and the pilot is in the rear. Weapons of the Z-10 may consist of 30mm cannon, HJ-8 or HJ-9 anti-tank guided missiles, comparable to the TOW-2A, newly developed HJ-10 anti-tank missiles, comparable to the AGM-114 Hellfire, and TY-90 air-to-air missiles. It can also carry unoperated rocket pods. 
This helicopter may be fitted with a fly-by-wire control, helmet-mounted sight for head-up display, television and forward-looking infrared sensors, radar and laser warning receivers, infrared jammer, and decoy dispensers. Z-19 The Z-19 is a Chinese light scout and observation helicopter. It was locally developed by Harbing. It was China's attempt to develop a modern and capable helicopter. The whole development program was kept in high secrecy. This helicopter is in service with the Chinese Army Aviation Regiment. It operates alongside the dedicated Z-10 attack helicopter. The Z-19 is lightly armored. Both pilots are seated on crash-resistant seats. This scout and observation helicopter is equipped with a nose-mounted FLIR TV and laser-guided rangefinder. Secondary task for the Z-19 is to provide fire support. It has four underwing hardpoints and can carry unoperated rocket pods and other weapons, such as TY-90 air-to-air and HJ-8 anti-tank missiles. The helicopter has no nose cannon mount, however, it can carry a potted 23mm cannon. The Z-19 can operate under various weather conditions and at night. Z-20 The Harbin Z-20 is a Chinese medium-lift utility helicopter. It is a Chinese copy of the UH-60 Black Hawk. Sometimes this helicopter is nicknamed the Copy Hawk. This new generation utility helicopter has been developed in China by AVIC, China Helicopter Research and Development Institute, and both China's helicopter manufacturing plants, Harbing Aircraft Industry Group, and Chang'e Aircraft Industry Corporation. The Z-20 is a copy of this Gorsky S-70, which is a basic military utility helicopter of the U.S. Army, where it is known as the UH-60 Black Hawk. The original helicopter is also in widespread use worldwide. It appeared that Sikorsky licensed production of this helicopter in China for non-military use. The Z-20 helicopter accommodates about 12 to 15 fully equipped troops. It has a payload capacity of around 11,000 pounds, 5,000 kilograms. It can carry around 2,200 pounds, 1,000 kilograms internally, and 8,800 pounds, 4,000 kilograms externally. It can transport various loads such as vehicles and artillery pieces under slung externally. This utility helicopter can be armed with machine guns and possibly other weapons such as anti-tank and air-to-air -air missiles, or pods with unguided rockets. Sixth Generation Fighter China's military aviation industry has been releasing more and more concept art for a future stealth fighter on social media. While such computer rendered designs are anything but finalized, one thing seems clear. The future for China's sixth generation stealth fighter is likely a tailless one. On January 31, 2023, the Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC, posted a video featuring CGI concept art of a notional sixth generation stealth fighter. The twin engine jet fighters portrayed had low reflective diamond shaped wings like Northrop Grumman's promising YF 23 Black Widow demonstrator fighter a blended wing body configuration, and no tail. Other signs and portents abound. Earlier on January 18, a photo of a tailless fighter on a computer monitor, apparently at the Shanghai-based China Aeronautical Radioelectronic Research Institute. At the moment, it is not known when China plans to show the fighter to the world and what characteristics it will have. But if the real aircraft corresponds to the graphical models, then this will be a truly serious step in Chinese aircraft construction. That's all friends, thanks for watching! Write in the comments which of the aircraft and helicopters you like the most. Also click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.